So we're just going to touch on a little bit of Chapter 8, Systems of Equations and Inequalities. And we're mostly going to do it by movie, just a very little bit in class. So this hopefully will be enough to help you get the homework done. So we're going to solve systems of equations by substitution. And this should be a quick review. And then we're going to solve systems of equations by elimination, or some books call this the addition method. The third thing we're going to do is identify inconsistent systems of equations containing two variables and then we're going to talk about how do you express the solution of a system of dependent equations containing two variables So these are going to look like x and y in general. Then we're going to solve systems of equations. This is the part that may be newer. Solve systems of three equations containing three variables. And this is the very beginning of a topic called linear algebra. So we're also going to learn how to identify inconsistent systems of equations, you guessed it, containing three variables. And then express the solution of a system of dependent equations. So see how this is the same as number four, but containing three variables. Okay, so first we're going to do a quick intro to system of equations to remember what they are. A system of equations is a collection of two or more equations, each containing one or more variables. And the goal is to try and find a pair of numbers, A, B, that's an ordered pair, that when you plug A in for X in both equations and you plug B in for Y in both equations, you get true statements. When it's three equations, you get what's called an ordered triple where plug A in for X, B in for Y, and C in for Z, and you must get three true statements. So that's a system of equations, just means the equations are linked in that the X in each is the same, the Y in each is the same, and the same for the Z. So a solution of a system of equations consists of values for the variables that are solutions of each equation of the system, so to solve a system of equations means to find all solutions of the system. And you're going to see that there's three possible outcomes here. So for this first system of equations, it has a solution of x equals 2, y equals 1, which we'll talk more about how you do the solving. But I first want to talk about how you can check your answer. You can put in 2 for x and 1 for y and say, yep, I get 5, and put in 2 for x and one for y and say, yep, I get negative two. So two comma one is the solution of this system of equations, the one and only one. This second example has a solution of x equals three, y equals two, and z equals one, which we write as an ordered triple. And you can check for yourself that three plus two plus one equals six. 3 times x is 3, minus 2 times y is 2, plus 4 times z is 1. Does that equal 9? Yep. And then x, which is 3, minus y, which is 2, minus z, which is 1, definitely equals 0. So a solution of a system of equations is an ordered, it's called an n-tuple in general. 
because these can get longer and bigger. Okay, so when a system of equations has at least one solution, it's said to be consistent. So consistent has an answer, at least one. But there's two possibilities here. There's the one answer possibility, and then there's the infinite family of solutions possibility. So hopefully you remember this. So one answer is when you get something like two comma one. Infinite family of solutions, we'll talk more about how you write that solution set. So if there's one and only one solution, we say the equations are independent. So notice what adjective is going to which noun. We say the system is consistent but the equations are independent. So here is a consistent system where the equations are dependent. Okay, and then the other possibility is an inconsistent system where it has no solution at all. So then we say it's an inconsistent system and we don't say anything about the equations. Okay, so just a quick revisit of what we talked about last time of that linear equations, the equations draw lines. And so we know how to draw them, draw the graphs. If the lines intersect, then we know this is the single solution set point and it's an ordered pair. But I just wanted to show you a nonlinear system of equations where hopefully you recognize this now as an ellipse and you recognize this as a hyperbola, and solving this system of equations, you'd actually get four different solutions since there are four intersection points. So it's nonlinear because I have these squared terms, and you can see from the graphs that the graphs are not linear. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is solve systems of equations by substitution. So I have an example here, and you solve one of the equations for one of the variables. Doesn't matter which equation, doesn't matter which variable. So I'm going to number these just so I can talk about them. So I can solve number two for, let's just pick y. So I'd y, say y equals negative three minus x. Then I substitute this expression into the other equation and get x plus two times negative three minus x equals negative seven. Now, if you can't solve this, I really am gonna send you back to beginning algebra because I'm gonna have minus x equals minus one, so x equals one. Then I plug this one back into the expression I have for y, and I get that y equals negative three minus one, or negative four. Make sure you write your answer as an ordered pair, and that you check your answer in both equations. So I have one plus two times negative four. Does that equal negative seven? Yep. And I have one plus negative four. Does that equal negative three? Yep. So I'm totally sure this is my answer. Okay, so then solving by elimination, you try to get one of the pairs of coefficients to match up or be opposite. So for this system, I could multiply the first equation by five on both sides. And I could multiply the second equation by negative three on both sides. And see how that makes the x coefficients be opposite so that they will cancel. This is a plus. So now I can add, because you can add two equations together and get another two equation, and I get that negative 42y equals seven, so y equals negative one sixth. Then I can plug this into either equation because I'm trying to find the point that makes both equations true. So it doesn't matter which one I plug it into. I'm going to pick the first one because it has a six multiplying the y, so that will get rid of this fraction. So I'll have three x plus one equals two, three x equals one, x equals one third. So I'm saying my solution is one third, negative one sixth, and again, plug your answers into both equations and make sure that it's true. 
Okay, so now let's look at how do we find algebraically an inconsistent system of equations. So if I multiply this first equation by 3 on both sides, then see how I'll get 3x minus 3y equals 15. And when I add them together, I'm going to get 0 equals 17. What? Well, 0 doesn't equal 17. So you're going to say there's no solution. The system is inconsistent. So if you get something that's nonsense, it means no solution. Okay, so let's see how that's different from here. If I multiply both sides of this equation by negative 2, and I add these two equations together, I get that 0 equals 0, which makes sense, but it's not helpful for finding a solution. So these are dependent equations. This is a consistent system. So you have an infinite family of solutions. The way you write the infinite family of solutions, it's the set of all points x comma y such that x plus 2y equals 4. Because if you remember from drawing the pictures of these, it means these are actually the same line written in two different ways. So it's really every point on the line is a solution. So all the points x and y such that if you add x and 2y, you get 4, which are all the points on the line. Okay, so I'll let you do number 30, and you can check your answer by drawing them on Desmos. Okay, so now let's talk about what if I have three equations with three variables. And if the question is, what is the solution to this system of three equations with three variables? There's three possible answers, just like with the system of two equations with two variables. You can get one and only one solution, and that's a consistent system with independent equations. So here is a picture of what that could look like. It's three planes now intersecting at a single point. There can be an infinite family of solutions where you have a consistent system but dependent equations. And that can be actually two different things. It can either be that the planes intersect each other at a line or that it's all the same plane. So you have two different ways of having a consistent system with dependent equations. Here they have a line in common. And then the third possibility is always there is no solution. But see how there's two different ways you can have no solution. Also, you can have the planes only each two are intersecting each other, but not all three in one place, or it could be three parallel planes. So there's more different pictures, but there's still only three possible answers. So I'm going to make another movie doing these three equations. Make sure I don't run out of time.